I felt that it was important to give back to the community and the charity choice for me is my friend's house. Hi, I'm Peter Seligman and I've been involved with my friend's house for about three or four years now, both as a donor and actively involved in a variety of different capacities, uh, not only fundraising but some community related uh, projects and directly involved with some of the kids who are the children of the women who are in the shelter. I um, was actually doing a charity ride about four or five years ago and the charity being sponsored for that particular ride was my friend's house. Um, I rode because it was just a ride to go on, um, but we had a, a gathering after of all the riders at a patron's home and there was a speaker from my friend's house and I was actually quite blown away. Abuse is hereditary, not genetically, but I think it's, it's a patterned behavior. I think alcoholism is pattern behavior to a certain degree. I think all these kinds of negative behaviors are patterned, but as are positive behaviors. So if you see a man respecting a woman, whether it be their mother, their wife, their sister, their daughter, their coworker, that percolates down and people learn by example, and younger men, teenage boys through early 20s, 30s, will see that by respecting a woman, it doesn't take away from their strength. So if you can model for someone who hasn't had the opportunity to see that modeling, because either they were raised in an environment that was negative, or raised in an environment that wasn't present at all, then I think that's really important. Giving was a big part of my immediate and extended family. Uh, and I'm not talking about just money, I'm talking about there's basically three things you can give at any stage of your life. There's time, there's talent, and there's treasure. That's it. And at each stage of your life, you can give different things. As a younger uh, single guy in his 20s, a lot of talent, sorry, a lot of time. There wasn't a lot of talent. A lot of time, there was some talent. There was definitely no treasure. Uh, as you get older, you get some experience under your belt. Um, time becomes harder, you've got kids, and all the you know, married kids and life and building a business. Uh, but you might have a little bit more talent and you might have a little bit of treasure. And as you get older, those things expand. Your time expands, hopefully, your talent expands, and hopefully your treasure expands. Uh, so it was just a natural outpouring of the way that I was raised. Um, my mom and dad were involved in different things. Some, uh, an uncle and aunt of mine were extremely involved in a number of things and I spent a lot of time with them. So, uh, you know, that, that's how it happened. You just learn. And my kids themselves are involved now. They saw it. They saw what I was doing and I involved them where we could and whether it be carnivals related to fundraising things that were ongoing and the next generation's learning. I have been very lucky. I worked hard, but I've also been really lucky. Um, I've, always, I've give, been given to my friend's house now um, for several years at a modestly nice level. Uh, but I had a very, very successful year back in 2020. And um, as I said earlier in this interview, to move forward, you gotta give back. And I felt the time was right for me to write a substantial check. Not just to my friend's house, to some other organization as well, but my friend's house got the lion's share of it. Uh, you count your blessings, you share those blessings. The need is growing substantially simply because of demographics and population. And you need, sorry, we need a specific purpose-built facility to house people, to give them the dignity that they need, to give them the privacy, give, give them the outlets for physical and, and mental exercise, and to make sure that it's open and welcome to all who want to be there. 